It's I'm um, just staring at this thing. And the wheels yeah. like in the way. It's like we still get you though. <laughs> oh, I guess because the camera. It's like um, it says this is episode ten. Episode ten. Woo! These are tenth episode. Wow, hey, when double you get, digits. Well, text Marcus and just let him know like when he hops in this bitch uh, to sit behind me. No. When you sit, when you get in this bitch. <laughs> are we picking up from the? Uh, oh, flushing side. Flushing side. Yeah. Um, get in Calvin's side due to camera angle. So he'll you... be out of camera. Yeah. <laughs> he gets in your side and like somehow just like <laughs> it only the sees point. Marcus from the like, back of your head. People are like, well, how, do, how does he really look like? Oh, you'll never he's know. just too damn beautiful to be on camera. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. He's just like the whitest guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the blackest voice. The blackest voice. <laughs> <laughs> just saying the N word left and right. <laughs> it's like. It's like it always gets me when you like you hear those white singers that like are really soulful. Yeah, yeah, like uh, oh, who's that? Like uh, you know that song, Brandy. Brandy, you're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. Looking Glass, that's the band. Oh, okay, um, but uh, the lead singer I thought was black the longest time. He's just like a white, <laughs> hairy dude. <laughs> it's like um. Like, oh, what's his name? Snow. Snow? The reggae artist. Um, Is he white? Informer. Oh. He's you white? Heard, yeah. You didn't know that? No. You've heard that song, right? Informer, right? Yeah. I thought I thought all reggae artists, except for, like, Matis Yahoo. Were, uh, oh, Matis Yahoo, the, the Jewish guy. Jewish guy, yeah. Hasidic Jew. He did a full He was really over. good. Yeah, I know. And he, he did a full, like, acidic Jewish makeover. It's, now he's, like, blonde hair, wears, like, plain white tees. Not cool Jewish tees. anymore? I don't, I think he might have, like, walked away from it. But definitely not, like, the acidic look. Um, it's like, what you call it? The, um... Dude, the, the, the tunnels... Yeah, we I can't believe we didn't talk about that last no, show. Oh, that is crazy. That is a funny. That made my fucking day. That's like that is the funniest thing I've ever so seen. So I was it was like on TikTok or Instagram or something like that. This guy got like a one of the the Hasidic Jewish guys, like a younger kid, in the train station. He's like, uh, so what was going on down there? He was like, you know, like you know, people got to party worship, and he was like, um, there was like mattresses in there. He was like, you know, when people work, they got to go to sleep. He's like, but what about the baby, uh, yeah. <laughs> the the baby carriage and stuff like that? You brought your baby to work. Oh my <laughs> <It's> god! Like... <laughs> Wait, when they trying to like expand their synagogue? Is that the reason why? No, well, I think it was it was basically during COVID they put these. Um... I'm gonna write down because yeah. I don't want uh, publishing lawyers coming at us. Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah, bring them on. Oh. Yeah, bring them on. We got no legal team. It's <laughs> <laughs> just going to be me and you in suits. <laughs> As a professional lawyer, I uh, speak for myself. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was myself. for um, COVID. That's they, when it started? Yeah, because they, they wanted a place to worship. Because remember back then, no, you people couldn't go to church yeah. and all that stuff. But they were still, I remember seeing videos like people were still like, gathering during Syn- at synagogues and like the police had to come in and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um that was, really that was a wild time because i feel like a lot of like uh liberties were definitely you know encroach upon it's just so really weird. weird but it's really weird yeah and okay. then now it's like oh it's there was nothing yeah it's just a typical flu oh you're gonna be uh oh i see i see i see Damn, it is icy out here. It's funny because when I pull up to like, when I pull up like that, everybody thinks I'm a fucking Uber driver. Right. <laughs> it's so icy. You think that NYCHA would uh, put some salt down. Right? It's like, what is going on? We look like cops about to do a stakeout in the projects. Like yeah. It's really funny. Run, I got, this is where I run. But you see me running around here. Around here. Yeah, I, yeah. I take a ride on Humboldt. Yeah. Um, 
and uh do people look at you as if yeah, like you're I'm fucking crazy like as if you're like you're running from somebody no because I, I wear like the most like i wear like the lamest attire like running attire like the spandex, spandex. And... you really wear spandex well it's cold out yeah but like if in the summer i wear like but don't you feel colder shorts. if you have spandex on colder no not really no no it's like, very warm because yeah. it's so skin tight like when I, the air hits it and like spandex isn't like built to the point where like air can go through the fabric right right, right. I, I i you're i don't know how that science is but I, I don't feel cold i mean it makes sense like when i if i'm you're running i'm too. running yeah. if i walk out and i'm wearing spandex and i like to go to the market yeah i'll probably be fucking cold but also you'll never catch me not running wearing spandex like uh like a fucking high school girl do you remember that fucking fashion trend they wear just wear like spandex to school and then the uggs that's still a tr- I, I think it's still a trend maybe I think it's still a trend it's like i i see kids now like wearing uh pajamas to school yeah pajamas with crocs or like the uh um, <laughs> you know the like the, the fluffy shoes that you wear in your home like uggs no not like uggs but it's oh. like uh i don't know it's like characters did you text him i did is this where we meet him uh, you see sometimes you got to tell him we're here because he'll oh yeah he'll sit there and wait we here until we get that we're here text. I wonder if he if he worked late last night. What the no. Fuck? Probably did. Probably didn't. You know what's crazy is this is our second big snow day in one week, and um, this is not a big. Second this is not day. big. It's like just flurries. Yeah. What kind of glasses are those? Gas station glasses. Guess no, I mean like style, like aviators. Like aviators, I guess so. They're like thirty dollars. I bought them on um, I was getting gas because it was like one of those really fucking unbearable sunny days. They're just a little bit too big for my head. I think the sun is actually good for your eyes. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Good for your cataracts. It's really good for your eyes. The sun. It's good for your skin. Actually, I guess the clouds are kind of covered now. Man. I don't know. I always saw that these buildings are super cool. Yeah, why? It, I always buildings? thought, yeah, because they got, like, some of them have the balconies. No, they don't. Uh, is, that, is that a balcony? Or is no, that just, like, no, a walkway? That, that middle area, that's the hallway. Oh. That's the hallway that connects both of the, like, uh, uh, building. You know what's a weird fucking town? It's Co-op City, like all the, the, the Bronx. Oh, it's like why? it's 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 weird. It's like it's like a retirement facility basically. Like everything you need is right there, and then you have like a Panera Bread, a Best Buy, a Target, and then just like a bunch of you know these buildings. Mm. It's very bizarre. Pretty film friendly though. Really? Yeah. Like Gotham does a lot of shit there, or did a lot of shit there. I think. The you think that guy feels cold, with like the hold in his pants? Which that guy? Yeah, it's like a giant. Like it's so cold outside. He's got a rip in his jeans. Yeah, a giant rip in the jeans. It's going. You know what I can't stand, or I don't. I I don't get personally, people who wear short pants in the wintertime. Yeah, I see. I saw a lot of people running yesterday. With short, um, pants. with short pants and t-shirts. It was like 19 degrees. Yeah, it? and then, but and the, oh, but to make them warm, they're wearing a beanie and gloves. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. that's the difference. That's the loophole. Got it. So this guy's passed out in his car. Like, oh, uh, yeah. what if I just passed? <laughs> just, what if I just passed? Out? <laughs> Car's just driving by itself. Was it? Was, was it the office or whatever where Steve Carell's like? Nick wakes up while he's driving and looks in the passenger side. He was like, how long was I gone for? And he's like, you're asleep. (laughs) Is that him? Is that him coming up? Uh, This big, terrifying Chinese man coming in. That's him. That's him, right? God, he looks like a fucking... Do you wear a Packers hat? No, he's a Giants fan. I know, but... Is that a Packers hat? What? Wow. How? It had to be worse. It was part of, my, it was part of the fucking, um, the props, you know. 
The props? Oh, I locked them out. <laughs> Dude, are you, are you representing? Do you think they're gonna win? You, you know what the funny thing is? So when I first started playing fantasy football, it was like in 2011, I think it was. That was when the Packers won, and Aaron Rodgers was a quarterback. Oh. I had him as my quarterback that year, which oh. means this year I could have won. If I love Jordan Love. Jordan Love. Oh. Isn't it weird? <laughs> it's fucking weird. Really? I mean, yeah, I think you're a secret Packers fan. Well, I, I like the I Packers. Think, I think not like, so. like me, That's one thing me he was like the only team to agree on is the Packers. Like, yeah. That's like my second, with my Giants in winning, Packers were a both I'm, I'm going, I'm, I want Bills. I think Bills. I like the Bills to win. But... Bill, did you see that um, the, a guy did like a, um, he said that they're going to play, they're going to, Overtime with Kansas City, oh, and then really? Bills are gonna play. They're gonna make it through, and then they're gonna lose to. Uh, who are you gonna lose to? But yeah, these these things these things every time. Who? Some one of those like. That little analyst. Analyst guys. Yeah. If you want to just hold that, you can do B roll on it. Just don't hit the bottom of it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Perky. So you, so you just record in the street. Yeah. <laughs> Is it recording now? Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's recording. recording. That, that one I put on so that way we can get audio from Marcus. Do you want me to record it the entire time? Uh, I, I want to leave it recording. You don't have to record. You can just leave, put it down. Oh, okay. Um, if you like. It, it's just to capture audio. My corduroy pants. Fashion police. No crime here. What's the last? Like, I don't remember wearing corduroy. The only time I remember wearing corduroy is when I was fucking in first grade i know i, I like them because they're warm you'll never catch me outside wearing these though <laughs> yeah, i wore one as a kid so it was terrible <laughs> and they were like your color you wearing like, yeah, 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 yeah yeah i had brown brown, <laughs> I had brown oh, blue like dark blue pale green well, why because our quarter words cheap cheap i think they're cheap and they're also like they're pretty warm they and they're, they're kind of cozy and they're heavy <laughs> they got a heavy material to them yeah so but then, you, then again, I think they make them now with the, what do you call that, the, um, that sort of more stretchy feel to them. They're lighter. Yeah. Like, when I was a kid, they were the heavy fucking shits. I think glasses are fucking I think it gets to the point, too, now you get older. Like, who gives a shit? Did you see the episode of Law & Order? No, I didn't watch it. Uh, oh, I didn't watch that. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to watch it because I wanted to see the whole reshoot situation. Mm-hmm. It was so confusing. I couldn't tell what side anyone was on because they didn't do the other reshoots with all the other testimonies. They just did the reshoots of the guy getting stabbed, the protests, and you know. Because they don't want to cross the line. They don't want to cross the line. Before, I, when we was watching, when they were, the, the, the week they first started doing that, when I came back to that job, mm-hmm. that one felt like it was more of a pro Palestine feel. Yeah. And then they, then you know, but with the touch of like, okay, you know, I can understand the Israeli sentiment. But there was a lot of pro-Palestinians, so maybe that's why they changed it because they're like they don't want to get in trouble. Right. Yeah. Right. Because the guy who dies in the reshoot, he's Jewish. The character. Hey. Uh. But the guy who killed him was also no. The guy who killed the girl mm-hmm. was also Jewish. It was super confusing. Yeah. Um. They, it was all. I mean, you could tell they're like, all right, we got to do these reshoots. But we also have to edit out certain pieces of the original. They just um, told me the line. That's yeah. They don't want to. They don't want to make everyone upset or one side upset at them. Right. See, but here's the thing: when this whole thing started, it was pro uh, Israel. All of a sudden, now it's pro Palestine now, right? It was because of the bombings. Yeah. But you know, I, I get it. The bombings is fucked up, but people also don't don't act like that's a, that's unfortunately war. Like, what war has ever been fought with? No casualties die. Yeah. That happens all the fucking time. Your argument should just be in the war in general. That's it. Plain and simple. Not versus, oh my god, it's, the, the kids are dying. Yeah, everyone fucking dies in war, unfortunately. And then and then a lot of the, 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 the Hamas group are not letting, like, leaving um, people leave anyway. Mm-hmm. They're like, so... Well, I'll put it this way. Was, it, was there any war on October 6th? No. Mm-hmm. It was pretty quiet before we got to the 7th. Was that the day of the festival? When they went to the festival, yeah. I thought that was like the. I felt like the summer. Wow. It was only a few months ago. Not to say we should want to die, but. 
Wait, so you're just wearing that hat because you just have it? Or it was deep it was, down? It, it, no, it was there. So I just said, fuck it, I want to wear it. Plus, it was like, I thought it would be funny because a lot of Cowboy fans, like, you know, oh, like, yeah. for some reason. Yeah, it's so putting the knife and just yeah. twisting it. You're just twisting the knife now. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though, right? But I was planning on buying a, a half for every round, depending on who wins. <laughs> so the, I was going to say, the Niners win, I was going to buy the Niners. No, it's that. If it's in the Super Bowl, if it's like the Ravens versus the Chiefs, I'm, I'm going with the Chiefs just because I like the patty. So, yeah. God, I, I, you don't make any sense to me. You don't want to see the Chiefs fall? No. The, no. the Chiefs are like the, the Patriots now. I mm-hmm. the thing is like, I don't know. I li- I guess it's because I like Andy Reid. I do like so, it. I love Andy. Yeah, I really like the guy. So I want to see him win. And then Patrick Mahomes is just I don't know. I, I like those quarterbacks when you like you look at him like, yo, that's a stud. That dude fucking play. Yeah. yeah so I kind of want to see him win. So like, do you guys believe in like you know everybody have their favorite NFL team, but do you believe having a, a secondary team? I think it's hard not to sometimes. Yeah. Like like for me, it's like. You know, I'm Eagles, but then my secondary team would be Packers. Well, that's, that's the thing. I like to, because of Brett Favre. That was yeah. my. Yeah, that's what it's like. It's like you, you latch to certain players. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, I, I it sucks when, like, your team, like, doesn't do well. Or, like, goes. you want to you watch and, and root for a certain team. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's why, like, I love rooting for the Bills. I, you know, I mean, it was fun you get to root for Dallas this year, but, you know, they always choke. Yeah. Um, I think that's some, that's some. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think anyone should root for Dallas unless you an you immigrant. Unless you just come kids. to this country and you're like, what is the team? This is America's <laughs> team. I love America. And of course, <laughs> it's, it's, they they get right to Texas too. <laughs> so it's like, ah, I guess I'd be Dallas. I yeah. never understood that, dude. dude did you Cowboys. see what's going on with the border down in Texas? No. So apparently, Border Patrol runs the border, of course. Uh, but what happened was. Texas, Texas went and reclaimed the border. Oh, yeah. So they're putting, like, rangers there, and they basically pushed the border patrol out, and they're now stopping people from coming in. And then the thing is, like, people are corralling and building up that if they push through and get onto America, mm-hmm. they're in it. Mm. So then now it's like a fight and a scuffle to get over the border with these people. Right. Uh, so it's wild. Huh. It is wild. A new civil war. You know what's funny? Like either we can all have our beefs about that whole border situation. But it is America or at least it was America's model. Like, Give in, you're hungry, you're tired, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like But then yeah. again, I don't know. Because if you look at history, like we turned away the Jews during, yeah. the, during the fucking Holocaust. Yeah, and we didn't believe it was actually going yeah, on. Yeah, they came over here and it was like, oh man, the, 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 Hitler, ah, fuck out of here. Oh, uh, yeah, he, this Hitler guy is fucking, I don't know, he's just crazy. And then, and then when they go back over, they get caught, and most of them, they say, got, you know, swept up into the camps. And, we'll, and, then, and, then, and then Pearl Harbor happens, and we're like, all right, <laughs> oops, all right, we're going in. <laughs> like, so I don't know, it depends on, like, because I'm quite sure the guys who live there, like, you live in Dallas or Arizona, like, and, and close to the borders, like, you part fuck, that thing's probably driving you crazy yeah. yeah you got all these people like you don't even know from another yeah. country running on but um, we started that trend of like just give me your people who need it like yeah. america did it because we are a nation of immigrants if we think about it yeah yeah um you was kind of wild though i bet like during like before like you know when we went into world war ii i bet a lot of americans were also like you know this hitler guy is kind of onto something <laughs> i guarantee it of course not. you know like well, the be. funny thing the one that I don't, i'm surprised one of them talks about but Malcolm X, right? I forgot the guy's name, but it was an American Nazi party that was here in America during the time, like of oh. the Nazis and everything. Oh yeah. It was a short. It was, of course, it's like shortly after because Malcolm X came after all that Nazi. Yeah. But they were like their new version of the Nazi party that they all came together and agreed on a, a white ethno state and a black ethno state. <laughs> Yeah, like that was the grounds that they came on. They're like, you know what? We both agree that both sides should be having their own. And the Nazis, they kind of were trying to do that with the Jews. Get yeah. them out so they could have their white, you know, the German ethnic states, if you will, whatever you fuck will call that, and, and get rid of the Jews. Mm-hmm. And funny enough, a guy from um, from Palestine, I mean, it's just like, this is sort of the time like when the Jews are actually going into Palestine. He came over and he was like, yo, Hitler, man. 
He's Jews everywhere. We gotta figure out what to do with him. Yeah. Now, this, now a lot of people have this discrepancy. He's like, no. Did he really give the Nazis an idea to kill the Jews? What is it with people no. that stand, stand in the, stand in the front of the corner? Idiots. He's like, God damn. They're fucking morons. And this one, there's sidewalks here. Well, look at the street. That's why everyone wants to walk in the street. So at least dumb. that side. I mean, hopefully the sun does some melting today. I mean, it's not cold enough, but like it is kind of bearing down. Like that looks pretty wet. Hopefully, it doesn't like I said. <laughs> or he? You can say that. Sorry, Marcus, we cut you off. Nah, that's what, that's what they're doing. We're only talking about Jews here. <laughs> As we're going through like a city, Williamsburg. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we did pass through where yeah, they. They don't end. believe in that shit. They don't like that Zionist stuff. You know what's There's funny? I used to live in Bed Stuy, like right in the oh, Acidic oh, Jewish part. Oh, good. Like on Myrtle and Marcy, mm -hmm. so it's like just consistent. It's either like, uh, like hipsters or Jewish people. And um, my friends who would come and visit like never saw city Jews ever in their life. Why not? Like I, they just never seen them before. They never seen such a tight knit community. Mm -hmm. You don't really see them. Yeah, because like, what happened with the fucking Holocaust? They got to together. Yeah, I would do the same too if I, if, if you told me that shit. <laughs> do you think that they? Uh, so the Hasidic population here, were, were they here like before World War II? I mean, like, there were Jews here, but there wasn't this big population you see now. Yeah. Yeah. So I've always wondered that. If they were like pre-war or like after war, and they just like... I think it's, I think a lot of them was after. I was watching something on that, the guy was like, you know, our grandparents and a lot of their grandfathers came over, mm -hmm. escaped the persecution of the Nazis, and they, that's what the community is the way it is now. They're very tight-knit. Yeah, they make sure they look out for their own, and they really, you know, they're cautious about who they let in. Right, and that's why they they did by that model of never again because of that. What happened? The William Vuds Vidge. Yo, that place we was at on fire. Do you do you, do you scout that place? Um, the one we shot over there in um, thirty three Spring Street. Three thirty, Spring Street. No, that was a real thing, I think. Oh, that, that, that uh, condo, that was a condo. Yeah. Oh my god. That place is sick, right? Yeah, but but here's a crazy. Oh, what happened? So I'm in there and I'm looking at the New York skyline, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, this why does this city sort of look really dystopian now? Like you got these yeah. huge towers and these small buildings. In um, India, they had this, uh, this a fucking tower in Mumbai. Yeah, the big tallest one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The guy has the entire building to himself. Yeah. And he only has five people living there, which is him included. This thing is two billion, and it's over a shanty little fucking town. Like you see this, it's, it's massive. Like think of the fucking World Trade Center. Yeah. The new one, the new, the Freedom Tower. Yeah. Think of that. Standing above a bunch of fucking brownstones, or even smaller than that, like little huts. Yeah. And you own that entire building. Yeah. It's you and your, like, your fucking five members of your family. Right. It's crazy. Wait, th th that's what happens to that building? It's just five people who live in that? That, she, that, that penthouse used to be, a, you know, an actual, there was, you know, apartments. They didn't tore that down. They made a penthouse out of it. Oh, you got 330. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they do that to a lot of these buildings. Yeah. Like, oh, it's and they, it's like a lot they of. They gut them. They got them, they make their own, yeah. and it's like... Because they can't rent half of these apartments out anymore. It is wild. There's this place called a, a 100 Van Dam. It's like, uh, I think, you know, probably 40 units in there, condos. Mm -hmm. Like, I think 10% is occupied. Like, there's <laughs> only like two people who live in there. It's fucking wild. Because like, a, a lot of people can't afford it. And also, if they can afford it, they don't want to live in a in squalor. Yeah, They'd rather yeah. live in a penthouse where they, yeah. you know, Upper East Side, Upper West Side. They don't want to live in fucking Tribeca. Uh, in some of these buildings, too, the, what the, the city does is that if they build a building with a certain amount of units in it, a certain amount of those have to be for affordable housing. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's just so funny to me when they're like, oh, this brand new building. And, you know, if you want to film here, you got to give us like $50,000. It's just like, okay, no one's living here. And also, <laughs> this unit is shit. Like, yeah. you can only, like... It's not they're even. So little, they're so like, tiny, and especially the newer ones too. The ones that were just built, you know, like a few years ago. Yeah. Like they're falling apart already. The the pre wars are gonna last uh, last all these goddamn buildings. My building. Cheap. They're done cheap they're and fast. Cheap. Fast yeah. and cheap. Yeah. That's why they keep coming up so fast. It's like 
they probably get all their materials as cheap as you can get it done. As long as it's up to safety code, so you're not gonna the building's not gonna collapse or you know if a nice strong breeze hits you. Mm-hmm. And they just want to make sure that they get it out quick enough so people can fucking buy it. Right. Because but you know I keep hearing people like oh well there's they gotta keep building because it's not enough apartments. Bullshit. <laughs> there's so there's many. too many apartments. There's too many. And you have that at such a price because the reason why you have the price so high is because you need to try to sell. <laughs> you want to get as much as you can get from it. Right. Because the people who are going to buy it is going to be like these young kids or somebody who has a lot of money. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, right now in New York, there's so many people leaving. I think they yeah. accounted for like 200,000 people. I saw that. That left New York. And then the other thing is, you know what states are getting an increased amount of people? Like Colorado. It's, oh, no. Florida. Florida. Yeah, Texas. Uh, Texas. Arizona. Your, your red, red states, states are getting... They don't want to deal with the goddamn bullshit taxes. Taxes and just like, you know... It's New York like, has, well, has a bad... um. Uh, Portland. Portland's terrible, but so Virginia's just, getting bad. It has a really bad um, income tax too. No, no didn't Trump I, 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 say I if he becomes head, president, he's going to remove um, income tax? I hope. I love it. Yeah. That would be amazing. But he says that. Do you, do you believe that though? I mean, the way how he said it, it was like if you remove the income tax, then it's more money for people, which in that way, that money that they have extra is going to be spent on goods and yeah. it's going to be put back into the economy. Yeah. I mean, and, and we pay enough in taxes as it is already. Yeah, but where is the money going to? Like, that's the thing that's bugs me. Mm-hmm. So you'll get, like, say you like, we had this conversation before about socialism and capitalism. Mm-hmm. So yeah, a, a socialist will tell you, I, hear, I don't know if you heard this, right? This thing about the, the World Economic Forum, where they're saying, they said it back in 2020. That um, you will own nothing and you'll be happy. You ever heard that? You yeah. will own nothing. You will own and... nothing. This is the plan they want for the future, and you will be happy about that. Because because uh, why? Like, because they're giving you what nope. you. Well, the, here you go. That's a good point. That's a good question. A person who's a socialist will hate the idea of property. To, no, owning. There's no such thing as owning a property. It's all community. So it's kind of like you can own nothing, you'll be happy. But the way the, these these elites are looking at it, when they say it, they're saying that for the rest of your life, you will never own a property because you'll be paying us for the property. So think about like your car. You will never own this car. You're renting the car for the rest of your fucking life. Because mm-hmm. they're trying to feed some bullshit system. Yeah. My thing is that they hate libertarians. So do socialists hate libertarians. A libertarian would tell you, fuck taxes. If you want to, you want that dumbass road, you pay for the road yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, why is it I'm paying for a road that I don't fucking use? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I agree. Taxes are too fucking high. They are too high. Because they're not even going towards us. Even if you're going to take our taxes, you're not giving it towards us. Like, why the fuck would you want to live in a place like Portland where they have an app where they can tell you where all the feces is in your city? Yeah. Because the city is not using their tax dollars to clean the streets. Right. Oh, yeah. Wait till I get closer then cross the road. I, I, people are so talking. Right? That's New York. That's New York. And then when people do that double parking too, I love. Yeah. Oh, why are you honking at? No, because the guy that double uh, parking is pulling out. That girl was kind of moving. She got good form. I love watching people's running form and critiquing them. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, do you love to see me run? <laughs> <laughs> I hate, it was so it's funny. I always like in my head when I run, I envision myself like with a perfect like stride. <laughs> and then and meanwhile, I you're running that. like yeah. a, a T Rex. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I, so I, it was so cold the other day. So I ran on the treadmill in my gym, and I look, and of course there's a mirror right there. And I'm looking at my running form, and my butt's sticking out, my hands are in the air <laughs> all over the place. My my feet are like kind of angling that way, and I'm like, God, I look like I'm so fucking retarded. Like I've never ran in my life before. And I'm a goddamn all American. Like all you needed was to make the sound while running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went Ken, Dad. Dad, Dad, can I get candy? Can I get candy? I run around for the candy. What's up with this place? All we see a line for the Clinton Street Bakery. That is something special. Yeah. Is it that good? There's just like, know. look how cold it is, and all these people are just lined up to go. You was really good. Ralph Lauren store. Yes. Oh, uh, Upper East Side, right? What was that 95th? So expensive. Like yeah. so, I think it's like 70. 70s. Yeah. But you know what's really good and doesn't have a line? That whenever I go and I'm in Soho is uh, Olives. It's right next to El- El- Ellis and Olivia's, but really good breakfast sandwiches. Oh yeah, 
Olives. Is that actually right by? You guys want to go? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually right by you guys want to go. You guys want to go today? Not even a break. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm kind of tired. Can we? Can we? Can we? <laughs> I mean, it's 1230 right now. I mean, um, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this fucking roadcast situation. It's simple. I mean, let's just see how it looks. This, I, I guarantee this shit is fucking shaky as hell. Oh, so I drove down here the other day. Um. As I'm driving down, I got to, I think, three or four more blocks. It looks like they shut it down over there. But it was in the daytime where it, on, on a weekday where you could just drive through. Mm -hmm. I drove through, and there's a line of people there. And I'm like, what's going on? It's a line of migrants. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. And they're all just standing there. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at everyone in the line. There's no women, no children, all guys. Right? Hmm. And so I'm at the stoplight, and they're all just staring at me. But it wasn't like in a hostile way. It was just like in a, in a, oh, look at him. You know, he looks like us, uh, but yeah. he's in this car. Like, look at the car. Yeah, like, we, yeah. We, we could have that we life. Be, yeah, and I'm like, damn. Oh, <laughs> and, and they're like, where are you from? You're like, Maryland. <laughs> like, Here. USA, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Dude, we had this guy on our uh, on our track team who um, he had this like certain accent or whatever, but he was like a short, like white, like really pale dude. But he had this accent, and we all thought he was like from Russia. And we're like, we're like finally like, you know, Doug, where are you from? He's like, fuck him all. <laughs> he had a fucking lisp. <laughs> that was just, he didn't have an accent at all. Yeah, check this oh, out. Oh, whoa. Yeah, get some B-roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some footage of this stuff. Is this even illegal? Look at oh, this. Is this what you're talking about? I don't know. Or is this a protesting? No, no. Dude, these are all migrants. Look, they're handing them out food and Whoa. shit. That's crazy. You could record them. I don't want to get fucking beat Yeah, up. just stand in the middle yeah, of the road. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> to, come on. This so is your lady? <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. These motherfuckers recording. These motherfuckers recording. Did you get scared? Uh, you had the camera. The guy was staring at me. And the guy stared at you, and you turned it. You pulled it down really quick. I got. I got like five seconds. He gave him that black man stare. Why did you get scared? You could have recorded. It's not like he's black gonna people, do anything. Black people scare me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like he's gonna do anything. He just came to this country. He's trying to be on good behavior. He's a, he's a different black. <laughs> He's like the, 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 the East Coast Mexican version of black. I like, get different from the LA version. <laughs> right? LA you guys, Mexicans are different Mexicans. You know, I met I met some of the uh, the West Coast Mexicans when I was in, down in Mexico. And yeah, they're a different breed no, for they're sure. Breed, they're yeah. tough. They'll chop your head off. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was I was like on my P's and Q's yeah, all, like all the five time. Two, yeah. Five one. <laughs> The hey, Holmes. Here, they just want to put up the drywall. They just want to tend to your garden. Like, hey, I got you. Oh, shit. Is that a rich... Richmond! She's from Richmond. She's from Virginia. What, yeah. the girl that's running? Yeah. She had a spider on her. So I was like, that's got to be U of R, because they, they were the spiders. Oh. Which I don't know why. Got it. We're really good at basketball this year. I think they're better than VCU. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Virginia has a lot of good basketball teams. Like, the UVA... BC made it to the final four, and then U of R is kicking ass. I just, I, I just realized like the music's playing in fucking Creed. Creed. <laughs> like, in my head, I'm hearing like slight Creed. I'm like, what the fuck's <laughs> going on? Can you just, take that down me for Creed? Try to sue us. I think they would like it. I think they would like the recognition. They've been getting too much recognition. Too much, right? I, don't, I, I say not enough. I say more, more Creed. That's a big ass head. I never, I don't think I've ever seen that. Trash. Trash and vaudeville. Trash. Yeah, what's what's that? That was over there. That was what I used to shop back in the day. It's like oh, a really? Rock store. That was. It used to be on Saint Mark's Place. The guy who used to run it was a guy named Jimmy. He died like in 2020 from cancer. The dude was a badass. He was yeah. so cool. He was originally from upstate. I think it was upstate. And his family. I mean, him being like, because he, I think he was a gay man, and his family. Probably didn't approve who he was. Mm. He came down here in the seventies, you know, start working there, became a manager. He opened his own store, eventually. So it's called Trash. Well, Trash and Vaudeville was like the shit. Oh, Talbar though, if you really want, 
uh, cheap drinks. Towel bar? Yeah. Really cheap. <clears throat> like, the bartender there, they're always just like, they'll just give you free beer. Like, really? You, you, you leave the bar with, like, like if you drink a lot, you leave the bar with, like, a $40 tap. Nice. And with a lot of fucking... We should go one day. Lubricated. I'm down to go right now. Hey, did you guys ever see the Sean Strickland interview? No. The yes. one where the guy... I, I heard about it, but I didn't see it. The one where the guy, it. like, brought up something that he said years ago, and he was like, Hey, Sean, you know, um, you said something about if you had a gay son, you would end, like, right. Sean Strickland was like, Are you gay? And the right. guy's like, Well, can you answer the question? He's like, No, answer this question. Are you gay? <laughs> and the guy's like, Uh... No, no uh, I, I uh, just I'm an ally. Uh, yeah, I'm an ally for the gay community. And Sean Strickland was like, uh, "Well, I'll tell you this right now. If you had a gay son, would it, would, like, wouldn't you just be a little aggravated because you might not be able to have grandkids?" Mm-hmm. And the guy's like, "Well, you know, if he's gay, he's gay." And then he's like, "That's what's wrong with people like you." Yeah, he went in. Yeah, he went in on that guy. I kind of like Sean Strickland. No, I just like that he's just like calling out on the, on the reporter's bullshit. Yeah, like it's because they're, they're trying to like bait him. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I got so baited yesterday with that fucking Aaron Rodgers article. Oh yeah, was that, that fucking simp writer writing about him. What's his name again? Uh, Daniel. No, fucking better say the right name. Uh, yeah, dude, I want to put him on blast, dude. He's such a fucking piece of shit, baby wannabe. What do you do? So he basically so it was a Rolling Stones article bashing Aaron Rodgers. Like the article is so fucking biased uh, against oh. against Aaron Rodgers, and he just like hounds down on the Pat McAfee show, calling him like a steroid uh, wannabe ESPN podcast for babies or whatever. It's like, what the fuck did Pat McAfee ever do to you? And is this about like Aaron Rodgers that you're already like insulting left and oh, right? Yeah, Rolling Stones out. is a joke now. That it's used such to be the a most joke. Counterculture. Sort of book you, I mean, magazine publication. The you know, Rolling all about Stones music is all about the cover now. Yeah. That's it. You ask anybody about a Rolling Stone, they'll talk about the cover, but if you ask them, did you open, did you like turn the cover and read any articles within the Rolling Stones? Majority of the people be like, no. Dude, I was like, my, one of my favorite. Um, so the guy who wrote it is uh, Corbin Smith. And I guarantee, and like, apparently he like worked in the NFL for a while. And now he's reporting for Rolling Stones, but like his articles are terrible. Like it's just so un- it's so biased. Like, I mean, it's clickbait. It, it definitely, I took the bait last night. I read the article and I was like, it, it fucking pissed me off. But like, I, I, I mean, granted, I, I respect Aaron Rodgers as a fucking quarterback i think he's a cool dude yeah and he, he says mind. he speaks his mind Speak your mind if it's controversial who gives a fuck i'm not going to be like i'm not going to get the vaccine because aaron Rodgers <clears> not going to get the vaccine I, I don't give a shit about that stuff yeah i think he's a great quarterback and i like watching him in on um the hard knocks i think he's a fucking cool guy very yeah. reserved and very like you know i feel like he's a good leader but this guy's article is just like completely so oh now he wants me to subscribe subscribe what uh to rolling stones this article some theories as why to a gifted quarterback became a weird troll who says things like woke mob and basically accuses late night hosts of being pedophiles. <laughs> I was like, well, he was talking shit about Jimmy Kimmel because Jimmy Kimmel was talking shit about him. Yeah, so, about the Epstein Island thing. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But you know the thing about those guys who make me laugh? Those are the same guys who get mad when a conservative person will say, you know, don't talk about politics, you shut up and play. Yeah, they're doing the exact same thing. Yeah. You know, who said that to LeBron the other time? Where it's like, just shut up and dribble. Somebody, I forget, but it was like, but everyone got on that person who's a, like, if you're a liberal, you got on that person. Like, oh, you, they should be able to say what the hell they want. So why don't you guys pull the same thing when Aaron Rodgers does? It? Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't matter if you're on the left or the right. Both sides are very, they're very hypocritical. Yeah. It all depends about what agenda that they are talking about, which makes them say, oh, I'm for it or against it. Because if I, if I came out and told you, hey, I hate the vaccine, you might, the older buddies like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you could say, well, this vaccine saved my life because I had a, you know, I'm allergic to this, or whatever, the disease, whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you support vaccines all of a sudden, your left will claim you. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter. It's like, it's just more about a person. Who's, what is a person's views? Shouldn't be matter if he's left or right. No. Yeah. I don't agree with everything on the right, and I don't agree with everything on the left. 
Right. Some things I just be like, no, I take a little mishmash, and I was like, this is where I kind of stand on it. What do you call people like that who just don't Independent. Go Independent. <laughs> you're just being who you are. And they hate people like that. Yeah. And like, they use these stupid fucking memes online where they're like, well, if you were doing the Nazis days, but you just were saying you let use that, why does that happen? Yeah, like, that's no, it's so, I hate that fucking argument right? where it's, it's like, the dumbest argument. It, what, what's it called, like ad hominem or whatever? Yeah, where it's what like, it, yeah. They, they attack something that's baseless of what yes, you're talking it's 100%. about. 100%. Um, I hate that fucking dude, and th- it's it's so ju- juvenile too. Mm-hmm. Like it's like that's like saying like I know you have a am I kind of fucking like you have defense. to pick a side. Yeah, that like, doesn't make sense. So if Aaron Rodgers is one of the voices' opinion, then let him do it. I mean, you have the right to write your shitty articles, but don't pretend like you're not writing mm-hmm. only because. Well, it, 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 well, you know. well, it, it just it discredits Rolling Stone, mm-hmm. which like I used to fucking idolize. Like a pro, like when I was like ten, I wanted to be on the cover of Rolling Stone for. Something I don't know, yeah. but like now it's just like, like but now wait, it was like that, that Zarnoff guy, the Boston bomber. Did they put him on Time or Rolling Stone like cover magazine? Time magazine usually does. does they do like the they man do of the year. Oh, it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter if the person was the most reprehensible human being in the world. They put that they fucking terrorist on the cover. It's like what? Well, so like yeah, everything's just getting like so. Um, yeah, it gets to the point though when they put people like that on the cover, it makes other people just want to do bad things because they just want the publicity mm-hmm. or the exposure. But, but I don't know, because when they did it with Hitler, too, they put Hitler on the, the, the Time magazine for Man of the Year. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, before, like... Uh... Yeah, but this is not because of... No, but they put him up to knowing what he did. It's not because it's not representing, like, if he did something great, good, and they put you on the cover. It's more about your impact of that time. So if you're a guy who impacted the world whether negatively... Or positively, you get on there. It's like it's like a representation. Of like this guy changed the world mm-hmm. for the worse or the better. Or how, well, how about how you slice it? But it yeah. doesn't matter what your reasons of how you got there. It's more like he made an impact in some way, and that's what we not recognize recognize him for being good. But damn, no one can stop talking about this guy. That was what they were trying. Like, they had Albert Einstein on there. It was more like, oh, it's his contributions to physics. And yada yada. Yeah. Even if you don't know shit about fucking physics, but um, what goes up must come down. This area sucks, like Murray Hill area. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're good. Why? What about it? Murray it's just like douchebag city. Gym saloon back there. Fun bar, but if you're you know if you want to see uh, Patagonia vest and <laughs> Wall Street Bros. What about people that wear Patagonia? I wear. I have a Patagonia. Jacket. Oh, the vest, you know, oh, the little puppy oh, vest, oh, yeah, where it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's this nice spring day, and it's like, where your where your sleeves go? Why would you get rid of your sleeves? Although I did, uh, did you get the Aurora jacket for Law and Order last no, year? No, I don't get shit. You didn't, you, did you get the hoodie? You get shit. What? And we don't you, get anything. You're on the job. Doesn't matter. You didn't get the vest or the no, hoodie? That's why I can't wait to leave that fucking job. It's I know, I can't wait. That's bad. Why did they give you anything? They're because cheap. you're not really core? No, I was there all last year on the fucking stage. I didn't get shit. I was there for, they, they shoot what, 10 months out of the year? I was there for 10 months. Did you do the email? Did you, like, reply to the email with your size and everything? They only gave it to... The lead man. The uh, lead man and the foreman on the crew and a couple of guys who were... Uh, and the shop people. Yeah. Mm. That's bullshit. You guys do a lot of fucking hard work. That's why I hate you guys. Do, you guys do... I'm only doing this because I'm not, I need money. I, I need my I need my money. I need my hours. Yeah. As soon um, as February hits, I'm about to get the hell out. I know. Oh, I I was I was telling um my, my other scout, um, like as soon as I get another offer, I'm leaving. He's like, dude, I've I've turned on four offers already. He wants me to do commercial shit. Good. Um, he's like double dipping right now too. I'm yeah, like most commercials are non-union. I mean, if you could just get mm-hmm. a regular. Like you know, union job, and then do one or two exactly. commercials to get that extra money. Exactly, that's another like grand a week, and yeah. then, and then you're, and you're, you can like file pull or scout like a location like a day. Um, because yeah, they only need one location anyway. No, here's where I'm filming on. Is Barouche? Barouche. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, parking. Oh, uh, oh, my signs are still up. Nice. <laughs> oh, you you need to put more signs? No, I'm gonna put more signs up. So I'm gonna do right now. Does it say Calvin on there? Yeah, it does. What's the title? Location man. No, no, no. I mean, as the project. Oh, my next guest. Oh, nice. Yeah. I thought they're gonna do like a little secret thing. No, I don't, I think the the mayor's office don't really like when we do stuff. Like no, that. no. Unless you tell Unless, them. It's, it's like a code. Bo- like Joker. Uh, yeah. 
you know. Uh, that looks like one of the sketchiest pawn shops. Like, there's not really sketchy. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Gramercy Pawn Broker. Who in Gramercy is going to pawn anything anyway? <laughs> right? It looks old school. It's like from so, the 1950s. Unless you just go there to buy stuff. I kind of want to scout it because that's a perfect little office thing. That is pretty cool, though, yeah. but parking around here is shit. Right? Dude, that's like old school. That'd be great for filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Park that's why. Still up. I kind of wish I scouted on Saturdays because uh, you get a lot, you get a lot done, less traffic. All right, King. Good luck out there. Giant Cadillac. Cadillac girls. Cadillac. Should I? Should I just wear my mic? Is you hear me uh, oh. whipping out? out there. This is. You know, I hate doing these little indie jobs because, like, I'm a one-man band on this shit. Like, look at me putting up parking signs. I've never done this in my entire career. Do you guys have parking PAs for this? We do, but they are like, oh, we don't want to pay them for, uh, we just want to pay them the whole parking. So it's like, if I have a parking guy go do this, uh, he has to get paid for doing this, but I do it. I stand alone. Exactly. That's the theme of today's podcast, God Smack. I'll just leave you all in here to talk shit about me. How many signs you gotta do? Yeah, how many signs? Yeah, should we just drive off? Mm -hmm. I I know we're double parked and it's not ideal, but this guy can get out. He can yeah, you're you're not a fucking SUV, bro. You're not an SUV. Oh, it's a security. Wait, were you were you working late last night? I was working at that place. Oh yeah. Three, what time did you guys wrap? I saw the I saw the prelim call sheet came out at like nine p.m. No, we no, they were there. They were in there on Friday. They they were done. We were just there, you know, oh, story. Yeah. So we started on Wednesday. We dressed it. Thursday they shot it. And yeah. Thursday we still had to show up because we were the last ones up. So oh. we did the final touches and stuff. Yeah. And then Friday was you know just wrapping it up. Have you ever done like a turnkey location like one day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it live? It's like bars, right? No, sometimes the bars depends. Bars it's, are tricky to scout for because, like, a lot of times you're like, this scene's only going to be like three hours. Mm -hmm. So, but but then we film there at like late at night, so yeah. not you know, no one's going to wrap out at like midnight. I mean, one bar we the first bar I don't do a lot of bars, but I remember one bar we went to. We had to put an awning up. We only did it as a test run on the first day, mm -hmm. so because they weren't shooting that day, and plus. The guy business was still open. Yeah. So those are one of those instances where it was like put it on and up, and then when they done shooting, we took it down. Yeah. But I remember it was one spot, but it was a knockdown center. That's what I was thinking. Oh they yeah. Closed. Yeah. So that's why we was able to leave our shit overnight. Yeah. And then the next day. Knockdown center is great, yeah. but the the new manager there is, um, he's I mean he's he, I, I'm not gonna say anything on the cast, but I heard some not great things. Like he just yells at everyone like on this on the crew. I don't want to be surprised. And so, like, look, he's like, yo, let us handle this. <laughs> Don't yell at our people, all right? Are we well, he the crew members? Yeah. Mm. yeah. He also had locations, too. Um, it, it was a lot of times we're like, can you just go away and let us do our thing so that we can make this work? And then we'll, we're paying you, you know? He's probably because he just, he's probably does it to his own people. Yeah. That's who he is. Yeah. I'm guessing. Oh. Um, they get they got like Eric Andre's like uh, uh, birthday party there, really? um, like I think a few like last year, it's like fortieth, and like strippers, like ball pits, and like all that shit. I know they did a skate thing once. They had like a whole vert ramp, a skateboard party. Oh, that's, fucking, that's fucking sick. Mm -hmm. Um, I walked by uh the van like a van store, and there's like a full on skate shop, um, really? half pipe in there. Yeah, I really, really wanted to go in there, but I had to. I had to. I was on the move. But um, oh, by the way, uh, for our next episode, episode six, mm -hmm. um, we're doing uh, Mount Sinai Hospital, which is like right around here. Okay. Um, which is super easy, but it's the only problem is I mean they they have chairs and like doctor shit mm -hmm. in there, but it, everything is like unfurnished. Wow. Yeah. 
You know the thing that I find funny is that they constantly doing hospital sets. Mm-hmm. Constantly. Mm-hmm. And it makes you wonder, like, why don't you motherfuckers just build a set? Build a for set a for a hospital. A doctor's office. Yeah. ER room. I'm constantly doing that. Mount Sinai is the only one that's like has everything, but like its own wing for us to film. Mm-hmm. Whereas like I scouted Woodhull, and I like they're like you can check out the ER, and there's like dying people in the ER. Mm-hmm. I'm like we can't film here. Mm-hmm. Like no, we can move them. Like I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> we kicked them out. The- yeah, yeah, they're like they, they want money. they were exactly they want filming so bad they'd rather kick out patients. Yeah, I'm like no. Yeah. You know, like as as I'm I'm doing this stuff, right? That's funny. Just mm-hmm. funny, but like kick these fucking dead people out or dying. Like, people. Yeah, he's like, then we'll put them in another room. I'm like, no, 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 you don't have to do that. We're gonna film in Mount Sinai. Like, you know, there's a whole wing for us. Like more respect within the production world of everything. Parking, parking PA. Yeah, it's like, you know, I've never done it before. But I just watch this guy, these guys, I hear stories. You know, his location department, we're more closer to them than any other department. Yeah. Besides, you know, uh, the the drivers, the Teamster drivers. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like putting up these signs. It's like every, like, I go put these signs up and there's like people like, oh, you guys are coming here. <laughs> and it's like, it, it every day it's like, too. I'm supposed to deal with them, but they don't know really truly my position. And so I'm like, hey, man, I, I, I'm just working for them. Just yeah. putting up these signs. I don't like, you know. Did someone do that just now? No, like the other day. And it's like, but like you put it up and like some people just look at you real yeah. disgusting. Like, They're like, oh, I'm not going to park anywhere. It's take like, our parking. Dude, it's just for a few hours, man. Don't worry about it. Jeez. Um, also, um, what was I going to say? Oh, that's why, like, I feel like I would just wear, like, AirPods the entire time. So, like, if someone's, like, trying to talk to me, I'd be like, hmm? I don't hear you. Yeah, but then they oh, yeah. want to get your, uh... They want to get your attention. Your attention more. Excuse me. Mm. Excuse me. Um, um. I was on a run yesterday, and I had my ear, I had my headphones, and some guy was trying to talk to me while I was, like, I, like clearly, like... And I was like... Excuse me? They're like, which way is this? Oh, yeah. And there's like other people that you could talk to that don't have headphones. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got a fucking phone. Yeah, yeah exactly. Way yeah. Phone. exactly. <laughs> I love that. I love when people like have their phones in their hands and they're asking <laughs> where to go. <laughs> and then what I do is like, I'll whip my phone out yeah. and be like, well, put the address. What is wrong with you people? Where is this? It's not like 19, you know, the 1990s. Like, get your phone. See that thing called Google? <laughs> Type in the address. It's crazy, though, because when you think about it, like, I was thinking about it the other day because I'm driving. Yeah, you know, you use Waze, Google, Apple Maps, whatever. It's like those people back in the days that had, like, the map, the booklet of a map. Mm-hmm. You have to pull it out, like, you know, see where you're going to go. And then memorize. And memorize. Where you got to make these turns and stuff. Well, that's, that's what's great about, like, my, my mom and my dad know the best fucking, like, uh, shortcuts because they never, you know, they, they use maps. All the, especially around Virginia. Yeah. So if there's traffic, like, oh, we'll just take 301. Or, oh, we'll just do this. And they just, like, and then they all the side roads, like, from memory because of this old ass maps. Nice. Um, whereas I'm like, mom, like, we got to go this way. And my Google's telling me to go this way. You go She's like, the, fuck Google. The boot, like, uh, routes. <laughs> yeah. 301. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I, I, I would have. So sorry. I would have called that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it's just cracked. <laughs> My new iPad. Is this uh, is this like your your whole family's iPad, or is this like just no? Your... That's me. That's me. It's so weird, man. Like everyone in the family got their own iPad and their own iPhone. You know, I'm hearing all this thing by when they talk about uh, all the kids on their phones and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, it's so detrimental to their health. My, like, you motherfuckers said the same thing about television. Yeah. 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 You, do, you watch too much TV, your brain's in a rock. Yeah. I'm quite sure that, like, when books were, you know, the only thing, that, like, stop reading so goddamn much. Yeah. I think I think what people should say is don't your watch... Your brain's going to get too powerful. I think what are parents should... Yeah. Or, like, or, uh, watch too much TV, be careful, and you might land yourself in a, the film world. Yeah. yeah. But TV is what made some of the greatest, te- you know, writers and directors mm-hmm. and actors. 
on TV, you would be like, yo. TV helps what? people dream yes. more and try to become bigger than what, what the they fuck are. What are talking about? Because if you're stuck within the realm of where you grow up, you only know what's in that realm. By watching TV, you can see, oh shit, there's more out there for me. There, I can mm-hmm. do this. I, I want to do that. But like with the whole iPad thing and the phone with the kids, let them use it because you know why later on in years, that's all they're going to end up being and using. Yeah. So you might as well get them, you know, within the they're technology. Doing, but they're doing exactly what's around them. It's like, and they, some of them are creative with this stuff. They're not just like watching videos. Like they watch videos and they somebody make their own little videos. My my you know? daughter does animation on Look her phone, yeah. and she does these animation videos. But then, like when she's done doing the animation, she takes it out, put it in another app to do something else to it. Then take it out of that app, put it into another yeah. app to do audio, mm-hmm. and it's like, it's like, oh wow, like I would have never even knew about. And this. it's amazing. But these fucking people will tell you, oh, you can you? No, shut the fuck up, you guys. This is what this is how evolutionary things work. The, you, you know, we get the new technology, you question it because it's all new and you're scared about it, mm-hmm. and then it goes away. Yeah, because something new comes in and takes its place. Because no one's complaining about TV anymore. Now they want us to watch more TV. All these fucking streaming shows that came out. What's gonna happen? Like, watch this. These the Oculus and the new. Yeah. Apple I want to get that Google Vision mask stuff. People are gonna be living in that. So, I watched Ready Player One last night. That's yeah. a good movie. Not bad. Not bad. It's a good movie. But I was like, I kind of. This is sounds sick. And of course, like the theme of the movie is like greed isn't good. Uh, playing too many video games isn't great. But it's okay sometimes, you know. Um, I think too much of anything could be bad, but then I'm like, if it brings you joy, I don't have you just playing video. Like, you know, if you're like a potential homicidal maniac, I'd rather you get, get yeah. the jolly yeah. sword yeah. shooting pistolated people <laughs> right. and actually lose the fucking game and go crazy somewhere else. <laughs> well, Ready Player One was directed by Steven Spielberg. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, I did West Side Story. And I was talking to uh, the set dressers there, and they worked on Ready Player One. And they they were like, hey, remember the time we shot the footage and they forgot the cable was in the camera? Oh, no way. And then it was like, but the editor didn't even realize it because the cable just fell and in. It was like, like and but, yeah, it was the set dressing. <laughs> Yo, I just saw this um, picture. Of them shooting out in the desert and the electricians, they laid down the cables in the sand. Ah. They put tape over the cable to tape it down to the sand. Like that's gonna stop the fucking cable from moving. Which one was that? It was like some stupid movie set. Yeah. And the guy was taking a picture of how dumb crews could be. And he just shows us a fucking cable in the sand with gaffer tape taping it down to the sand. Like, where is it? You think that's not gonna move? Like, it's, it's, yeah. Oh man! Oh, the good old UN nation. Dude, Long Island City, when you see it like head on, looks it's really nice. empty. I mean, it, it's, it, it's it, it, it never nice, but... ever looked like that before in the past. Oh. There was nothing there. Yeah, I I remember when I was younger and I used to live around there. Like, dude, it was fucking bad. They used to have prostitutes just walking mm-hmm. around there, because it was all like factories, empty factories. railroad areas. Yeah. Like it was. Really like fucked up place. Crazy, they didn't have like hollowed out homes. It was just like hollowed out factories. It yeah. Just, this, like these loft spaces now that are, are apartments where used to be just be factories. Same as like warehouses. Yeah, Williamsburg was the same shit. Yeah, same thing. Williamsburg. Anything that is on the coast of any other boroughs besides Manhattan now is like the hot spot. There's also a big mafia presence, like underneath the Williamsburg Bridge. That that's like, because right next to the water, they would just get all like the sugar from uh, Domino's. Brazil. Yeah, and then they all caught, they sneak in, you know, guns or chicks or fire oh, engines. Oh, the Trump Tower. Yeah. I wonder how much a room goes for in uh. Wait, Trump? I thought it was so. Right here, behind us. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the the other one and um. Like what? Fifty ninth is really nice. Oh, I wonder how much a room goes for there now. Probably pretty cheap after the the because a lot January of people 6th. don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but it's <is> funny <clears throat> seeing all the tourists like uh, taking photos from like, and they're all from like Germany. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Trump! Oh, Trump! Right. I I love Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump? <laughs> He's Donald Trump. I love his fucking hair. <laughs> He's just like us. <laughs> These are the people. 
<laughs> How Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys see that video of the grandmother saying hi to Hitler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like a, it's like they bring her birthday cake, yeah. and then and then she like she's like I don't know ninety seven or whatever, and she, and they're like make a wish. She goes hi Hitler. <laughs> like blows out the candles like no grandma. No. <laughs> Yo, grandma forgot what decade it was. Yo, that's hilarious. I mean, um, my uh my my grandfather's um wife, she's like ninety seven. She from Germany. Mm-hmm. Her name is Frida. She's the sweetest lady, mm-hmm. but she's, you know, now that she's 97, her mind's kind of deteriorating a little bit. So she'll just say shit like, you know, when I was a little girl, we loved seeing Hitler come to the town. And like, like Frida, oh stop! Yeah. You was so charismatic. Yeah, that's the Bundes. That's German. Oh, what's called? I don't know what they call that. Consulate? Well, it's Consulate, German. yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, but I mean, you know, this is her saying this now that like you know she's going through um you know brain yeah, damage but i'm mean, but, but you know a few years ago she was like oh yeah no he was a terrible person but i think her memories just get blending together well you know with some people they do it's, it's, it's fucked up to say but he did get them out of the fucking depression yeah some people yeah. i mean you take a man for what he's worth he's he will do but he did good for them and some of them might have that feeling like ah. Oh, yeah, he was terrible, but he was in their shoes in, in that time period. Yeah, your part was like, yeah, he saved us. Yeah, I mean, that, that, like, that was what they're they're using money. The dollar was so for them yeah. was so bad that like they're using it to fucking make fires. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like that's like Venezuela right now. Dude. Really? Ha-ha. Yeah. Ha ha to Venezuela. Dude, it's so bad there because it's like uh, they showed like piles of money in Venezuela just off to the uh the shore like ditches where yeah. like, people don't even it's not even worth anything if you burn enough money and get rid of enough money do you think the value will go up like if we just were to go around oh will you make it less scarce less value, of it? yeah no so, i don't think that wouldn't work we own a fiat man we have no gold back in our money yeah it's worthless anyway that's why you get all this fucking hyperinflation yeah it's only worth something because we say through the power of a gun, <laughs> it's worth something. Yeah, so you yeah you're, you're, you're having the idealism of like uh, less is more crypto. valuable. Yeah, like like Bitcoin and all that stuff, which I still can't wrap my head around. But the Queen's Borough. Also, um, I didn't realize it was wood. That's got to be new, right? No, that's they should have wood on a board. No, no, no. They're, they're not. <laughs> it's brand new if you look at it. I don't care if it's fucking. It was built there yesterday. It should be yeah. wood on a bridge. <laughs> Brazilian wood. It's wrong. It's 2024. You still got wood on bridges. <laughs> I, 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 I would never notice that if I didn't use an iPad. Yeah, I like, it's not fucking wood. It's not fucking drawbridge. I mean, a short, we got a, a rope bridge. Like, uh, you know, just, just do it. Put some rope. Forget the suspension. <laughs> okay, we'll just put rope up there. Just Fuck. let it sway. Let it sway. <laughs> no support in the bottom. Nothing like that. Uh, no rebar and cement. Nah, fuck that. No oh. steel. Look, like two more buildings popping up in LIC now. Yeah, it's crazy. That shit looks like some shit out of Robocop. I know. <laughs> Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. Come here, Rookie. Rookie, what's that? That was a good movie. I like that remake. Yeah. Judge Dredd. Yeah, that's like the only good remake. But I, I still like the original, though. Of course. I never saw the original as a kid. I just thought it was cheesy just looking at it. Really? Oh, it's really good. Yeah, it was a fan. Really good. But uh, you, we all know Judge Dredd in the comic book never really had his helmet off. And that one, they had to show Stallone's face off. Well, they have that same problem with the Halo. I don't know if you ever played that game Halo. Oh, yeah. The show, like, they're saying a lot of the fans are upset they got to show the actor's face. They show the actor's Why? face all the time. But you because, have to. I mean, because, you have to convey something. I'm sorry. You didn't even see his face. Like, like they did teasers in the like Halo Three where yeah. he took his helmet off, but you always saw the back of his head. Because like that's how it should be. It's like the Mandalorian where it's like, it's like he's like, oh, you never show your face or whatever. But he does it every other episode. Oh yeah, you gotta get that. I got a little bit of it already. I mean, as an actor, you want to show your face. I mean, that's how you get emotions. And yeah, exactly. It's kind of hard just to do it just from the voice. Although it's great for the part of Pedro Pascal, because he just probably doesn't have to be on set all, yeah. man, all, all the time. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And for his likeness. Yeah. And his voice. I just love it when you watch movies with the, they got an obvious stuntman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like they, they didn't do a good job of, like, blocking the scene where he can't see his face. Yeah. Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2, when he's supposed to jump. And that Harley into the room. Yeah. 
And it's just like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You know what's the funniest one? And I saw they were making fun of it. It was Queen Latifah. Oh, um, yeah. When she was riding a bike. Is like the last equalizer? holiday or something like that, or equalizer? Yeah, and it showed like oh it was like a dude. It was yeah, yeah. you saw the guy with the bike. It was like they was did fuck a war. It was it was, yeah, it was absolutely a dude. Where, like That's with like terrible. with like wearing breastplates and like <laughs> just the worst <laughs> fucking that shoulders, wig. Like a yeah, fucking linebacker. Yeah, it was so funny. That's fucking hilarious. Um, equalizers, fucking everywhere. I they they film a lot in Williamsburg too. I used to live right there. Really? Oh, Dutch Kills? Uh, Dutch Kills. That's Dutch Kills, right? Uh, Dutch Kills is like a small street. little pocket. It's like between Astoria and Long Island City, right? No, oh, we just call it Queensbridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice bar called uh, called Dutch Kills too, right over there. This place is like amazing. The way how this whole thing is built up. Yeah, I like to live here to make out with all the Asian girls. I think you would, you would really like. Yeah, this is a good neighborhood for you. Yeah, especially um, like the train right there. I go in and out of the city if I need to. Mm-hmm. Running is re- great around here too. Yeah, you just run down to the park over there. Yeah, I can even run around in Roosevelt Island. Um, but driving here is all those abysmal. I had to come here when I tore my bike. Oh, really? Yep. That's the spot. Urgent care. I don't get people. Like, they're all lined up on the left lane to make a right turn. Why don't you just get in the right lane? Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. Well, I need to do something about the, the, the bus lane because people don't realize the bus lane is also used for a right. 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 Exactly. And, and you know... <clears throat> Yeah, people never. Should we, should we get lunch somewhere? We get lunch. I don't know. Um, ko ko fuck you, ko fuck you, <laughs> ko fuck you, ko fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck you. No, go fuck you, man. <laughs> the beast next door. Oh yeah, it's a cool bar. We actually filmed in that alley last year, I think, or that little lot. Dead dead body scene. Dead body. I love uh, I film over here a lot to this area. Yeah, it's very filmable. <laughs> the the problem with like everything's like filmable, but it's like the parking here Parkings. is getting so yeah. weird. Like, look how many no standing anytime. Mm-hmm. I don't get that. It's like if you like you want people to move into the city, but like you can't park anywhere. They want to get you out of cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's what they want to do. Yeah. They want to put right everything to in MTA. System. But the thing is, they're like. The MTA is it's terrible. Like even right now, it's terrible. Like so many more people. You, you want to put people into the trains and the buses, mm-hmm. but then all you hear on the news is people getting, getting stabbed, stabbed and killed on the buses and trains. So it's like, I, I like being in the safety of my own vehicle. Yeah, and, and especially the public transit is not going to be operational, and I'm out of the worry of getting yeah. stabbed. Like now is like a part, you know, well, especially in the winter time. Yes. You gotta do what you do with total recall. They like walk through like a fucking metal detector. The <laughs> they showed the other day where the people were the new uh, turnstiles. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's so easy to just get. And the guy just goes like that, put yeah. his hand, hits the because they have sensors on both sides. I it's love so how the, it, it, there's like 1.5 million dollars in tax funding money to go to shit like that. to shit like that to like stop people from like not paying the MTA but then it's like the, it's like easier to get through yeah, it because you're gonna pass through then the, the person behind you then the censure stays open if someone's in that bay yeah then if say you don't want to pay if you put your hand on the opposite side of the door it, it opens up. up yeah so it's like what was the point of that <laughs> and they're like oh we'll get the king style yeah that's an expensive fucking king and then the little like uh, what is it the police robot then uh Oh, that station. big for nothing uh, RTD2 that gets slapped. Stop right there. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then it's like, it's like 1.5 miles per hour over. Yeah. Assault, assault, I mean, assault. I mean, tell on you. All you have to do is run down the steps. I can't even talk to you. Oh, no. And then I people are like, yo, how long do you think it's going to take till people start trying to fuck it? <laughs> Robot now. Oh. Robot has too much cum and malfunction. <laughs> Mm, no, too more much, dick, no, too, more no more dick. No more dick. <laughs> too much cum. Too much. It just starts like throwing up cum. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> and then the guy's pregnant. It's like a cum bot. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> It comes out like a little like toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Robot baby in <Yeah>. your Just <laughs> for a cyborg now. <laughs> yeah, it's like a half human, half it's robot. robot. It's it kill me. me. <laughs> it's so protective, start killing everyone. <laughs> Do not touch my baby. <laughs> Chris on rampage mode. <laughs> Initiate oh, kill geez. mode. <laughs> That's how humans would be if we were like animals. Do you ever try touching a dog's puppies? Oh, no, right. Like a fucking horrible. Dude, unless, unless it knows you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, even then, yeah. like, motherfucker. Don't even try. Don't even try. <laughs> Did you, I forgot the name of the animal. There's a certain marsupial that when it gets chased by its predator, it throws its baby at it. To get <laughs> <laughs> Is it a kangaroo? It sounds like some of the kangaroo would do. It sounds no, like, it sounds like, like a koala would do. It's so oh, small, but it's Take like it, it, take it. <laughs> Just, just me, take my baby! <laughs> and they wonder when I got the worst birth rates. They keep right. <laughs> shit like that. It's not even like a real threat, too. It's like a toad coming Ooh. towards it. <coughs> um, there was a coffee shop back there I scouted, and the manager would like relentlessly call me like five times a day. And then I would free, pick up and like. Can you get free coffee from them? I got free coffee from them. Can you get free coffee now? I know. I, I, I avoid that place like a fucking cancer. It's, uh, yeah, it was scary. I was just like, and then I, I told the owner, I was like, hey, uh, your GM, whatever, whatever her name is, she's just like calling me like five times a day. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll let her know. And then she Give just, me that dick. Give yeah. me that dick. Yeah. <laughs> this is a big one, you dog. Where's the dick at? I'm <laughs> just a location scout, man. I, she's like, and she, all she wants is like for me to give her a tip. <laughs> and she's like, oh my I need my dollar ninety eight cents, please, for that coffee. She's like, I need a tip. You take your dick out. And she's like, No, not <laughs> that. <laughs> I love, I love when you buy coffee and they're like, I'm just gonna ask you a little question real quick. And it's like one dollar, two dollars. I say no. I just say no. I say no. I asked for a drip coffee and I poured the half and half myself. Yeah, but it's other than that too. I'm paying five dollars for a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. I gotta tip you a dollar now, make it six dollars. Like, no, I can't do that. But what sucks though is like if 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 we are looking for a coffee shop, I do tip them because they gave me like the GM's number or something like that. But it's so infuriating doing that. Yeah. Um. And and, like people look at you like you're like you're a scumbag if you don't. I know. I know. It's like I'm not asking for like the world's best cup of coffee or a macchiato with cream fucking diabetes sugar. <laughs> it's been, Sorry, is that too soon? No, no. It's it's been since the year started. I haven't had any sugar. Really? No Good sugar. Good for you. Sugar. No sugar. No bread. No pasta. No bread? Nope. No rice. Nothing. I haven't touched any of it. And so just I feel veggies and meat. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I did the I did the carnivore diet. Then I realized it's not for me. That's a lot of meat. Yeah, yeah but the problem too, it's and like, expensive too, right? It, yeah, it gets expensive. But the other thing too is like I get hungry still. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, all right, if I can load it up with more veggies with less caloric intake, then I can I can eat more. Yeah. And then you know be filled in a way. Have like, you ever? It's, it's funny because like because your body is trying to kick off the need for glucose, so you're not like from from carbs yeah so that's why you get those cravings yeah but that's why those guys stick to it so hard that they have to fight through that's Ella Couche he's been doing that for fucking years he looks great he's been doing that carnivore diet also um have you ever done have you ever had like a really nice meaty steak just steak no veggies or potatoes or anything like that and then you're like hungry again and you're like you just starve yeah that was happening to me and I'm like I can't be buying expensive steaks like this yeah I go to Costco. Costco, I get a the big variety pack. Oh, don't spend too much money. But they have really good quality of meat, but yeah, it's expensive after a while. Yeah, because then you know if Vanessa sees me eating steak, she wants steak. Yeah. If the kids see steak, they want steak. Right. You know? So it's like it gets to the point where it's like you know four steaks. Well, it's kind of cheap though. Four big, like two inch steaks. Like forty, forty three dollars I spent. What's the name of that that, that, that steak that that Japanese steak? What is it oh, called? Wa, 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 wagyu. Yeah. So some guy he cut up a piece 
of like I don't know a basic American cheap steak and that wagyu shit, and the, and he gave it to his cat, yo, raw by the way. I never seen cat eat raw meat like this. <laughs> That thing scarfed down that fucking Japanese steak. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, because it's it's basically it pure it. fat. Yeah, when you look at yeah. it, it's. But it's a lot of things advertise wagyu here in in the states, but you really can't get it. Mm. It's like fake, mm. or if you do get it, it's very expensive. But the fat content of a wagyu cow is insane. Fat has gotten a very bad rap because of the sugar companies. Yeah, but but uh, fat is really good. Mm-hmm. I'm saturated, but yeah. yeah, I found this one guy. I forgot his name, but I think I sent it to you the other day. Uh, but he was showing you like chicken breasts and chicken th- thighs. Mm-hmm. And he's like, all right, the chicken breasts here cost six dollars and change for this. The chicken thighs mm-hmm. cost two seventy. He was like, eat the chicken thighs. It's no difference. Like animal fat is good fat. He was like, don't don't discard it because it's just chicken breast. You could just eat that. Mm-hmm. And especially with the, the eggs. He was like, I can't stand people who just eat egg whites. Yeah. He's like, you're not getting the full the full, like, you know, nutritional Protein. value mm-hmm. of an egg mm-hmm. by just eating whites. It's <clears throat> the yolk that carries it. Yeah. I uh I, I was definitely doing the whole just strictly egg white thing diet, like back in like twenty nineteen maybe. Yeah. And yeah, you're just so fucking like like lethargic and fatigued all the time because you're not putting anything into your body, really. Yeah. Um, well, you, if you give your body the fats, it burns it. Yeah, because basically, when you not when you eat just the white of the egg, that'd be like a chick just swallowing the semen. There's mm. no, there's no sperm. Mm. You need the sperm. Mmm, <laughs> chicken cum. Mm. <laughs> oh. That's what you're eating. <laughs> Sure, that is true. <laughs> some, mm. some chicken cum. That's that that's that yolky stuff. That's no. that, that mucus and stuff behind. So Salone was really uh you know oh, yeah, some he weird was shit. Really gargling yeah, that Rocky. Um You got I used Bruce to do looking that. at him like, yeah, you swallow yeah. that yeah, yeah, swallow that boy. You're a dirty boy. <laughs> dirty. You're my little cum bucket. <laughs> we go make some more chicken. <laughs> I uh, I used to drink raw eggs. Like that. Oh, jeez. But no, but then I learned how to, like, really drink it better. I take, like, a cup of milk, mm. right? Put, like, two, three, four raw eggs into it. Blend it with a little nutmeg that or that. cinnamon and just drink it like that. It feels like, like, fuck out of here. It's, <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a milkshake after a while. Is that a salmon, like, <laughs> salmonella? You get yeah, it's a, is that salmonella from that? Nah, I don't make your body stronger. <laughs> you know? Whatever it is, it clearly makes you stronger. Yeah. Also, uh. If you, it's like, uh, I remember our, our track coach would always tell us, like, if the college is hot, it'll burn anything. Mm-hmm. Just basically, because, like, a lot of people on the team were, like, not eating, you know, to, to be really skinny. It was like, it was oh. like, like, that's the problem with, like, track and, like, uh, wrestling. Like, you create so many eating disorders because you have to make weight. You want to be the fastest, yeah. you want to be the strongest, or whatever. Yeah, but I think now with technology and everything, science, it's kind of easier to. Yeah. Make weight now. I just, I just love how like like every Monday our coach would be like, "All right, we're having a meeting because like Jessica is in the hospital for not eating." <laughs> and I had to pull the whole team in just to have that conversation. Yeah. Jessica's stupid. Jessica, stupid. Just eat, guys. God. Eat. Just eat. Like you're because if you, if you run about an hour a day, you're burning about 700, 800 calories. And if you're doing a workout, like a sprint workout or whatever, you're probably for an hour, you're probably burning about. 1200 calories mm. so you know and then your body burns you know anywhere to 200 to 2500 to 3000 calories a day just by living so you really need about 4000 calories a day if you're not eating that you're just gonna slowly wither away you just created fat people mm-hmm. someone's gonna be like well that guy said you said the I, bo- I just the body living is 2000 so i really need 4000 right I'm gonna sit my ass on the couch and don't fucking move. Well, that's a problem though, because a lot like there's so many calories in like potato chips. There's so many calories in like a peanut. There's so many yeah. calories in peanut butter, Coke. You know, so it's really easy to get three thousand calories a day. It's really not that hard. You have one burger. That's half it right there. Yeah. Um, and uh, 
but it's also it's really easy you know not to get that too if you're eating you know salads and which i'm not disregarding salads but like it's, or if you forget like i forgot to eat dinner last night i've done that before yeah i was like i'm i was maybe like three beers in the other day i was like i, forgot, I, totally forgot. I, I started drinking and i got too drunk and I forgot to eat. Yeah, that's what happened with me. And I didn't eat all day long. I didn't have breakfast, lunch, dinner. I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. In my head, I was like, that's a 24-hour fast. And yeah. I had beer. <laughs> beer. <laughs> it's basically just, you know, fermented bread. Yeah, McGinnis is tough right now. Something happened. Yeah. Though. I hope it's not the bike lane. Of course, people are trying to take lefts. I know because they're like I don't know what the hell is. oh there's a lot of ambulance and police there's a Jeez. police car down there <laughs> normally I would just be like oh, I'll take the left here but let's go investigate yeah somebody's brains in the fucking <laughs> Ooh, I hope you you record it you don't want that and it immediately goes on to the, like the viral vi- yeah viral hit podcasters discovered for <laughs> exploiting dead brain um, I hope it's like not the coldest right now outside. I mean, it says it's twenty five degrees right really? now. Really? Yeah. Fuck. You know how crazy it's gonna be? That yesterday was like in the teens. Today twenty five. Mm-hmm. Tuesday forty four degrees. No, no. What is wrong with this world? It is definitely bipolar. What? I'm I'm terrified for February. Why? Because it gets cool. It's just cold. that's just the worst month. Mm-hmm. Um. Mainly, mainly because it's Black History Month too. <laughs> you get reminded of your evils. Which is, you know, what's funny is um, I always like I associated Black History Month with uh, January for the longest time because of MLK Day, mm-hmm. and it always confused me. And then um, I, I could never like fucking get my head, you know, to to think that it is in February because you're Black not Black. History Month. Yeah, well. And my soul is the obvious. <laughs> I don't know. I always hated that. Not always. When I was younger, you don't think about it. Yeah. But I'm like now. I'm like, why do you need a month to associate something? I it, I love that it's the shortest month. You <laughs> kidding? <laughs> it's also your birthday. And then they have yeah, my mom, my, my real birthday. Is is it leap year this year? Yes, it is. Nice. Yes, He's it is. Sick. No, I'm turning be... nine. 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 Nine years old. Nine. I can't. Nine, nine, nine. nine. <laughs> um, turning no. Turning no. <laughs> this guy's running form is pissing me off. Wind your window down. Tell him something he's, about it. His form is like very sturdy. He needs to loosen up. Um. Oh, is this fucking bullshit? Oh god. What's going on here? Oh, and then of course. Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> of course, what? Um. Two female cops? Oh, that's yep. a, that someone's getting beat down. Yeah. Oh, you, the airbags went off in yeah. the car. I'm telling you, if I was, if I was like, you know, in those situations where I call the cops and need someone to help me, like in your situation, give me that dick, give me that dick, <laughs> and two bitches show up, like, yo, yo, yo go get a dude, go back to the police station, you bring me two men right now. This is ridiculous. What are you gonna do? Hmm? Was, what would you do? Would you move into a building? Knowing that it was built by a complete woman construction team, uh, I'd rather just not know. <laughs> um, why is everything breaking down? <laughs> I fucked that. I'm like, yo, why is this? Why is my refrigerator yelling? At me? What's going on? Uh, why are the lights? Why is the toilet bowl seat going down by itself? Like, I yeah, put it up, <laughs> automatically. Come back, like, wait a minute. I, uh, you, know, you, you know how, like, in the film world, we work fast and we work quick and yeah. we work, you know, thoroughly and diligently? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was, listening, I was, I got lunch yesterday at and, and, uh, Williamsburg, and there's, like, these two girls who I guess were having, like, a lunch break together because they were both talking about work the entire time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but where they're, I was eavesdropping, and they're, because that was, it was easy to, because they're both fucking screaming. Because you're a creep. Okay. No, they're right next to me. They're loud as shit. Yeah. And, um, or one of the girls was, and, um, they're talking about, they they must work in marketing, it sounded like, but they're mm-hmm. talking about how to send an email about sending, making a meeting to talk about another meeting. 
What? You know, so it's like an email for a meeting to schedule another meeting. But and with a client? It sounds like with a client. Is it like the meeting in, in an, an internal meeting? An internal meeting? To set up a meeting, to set up a meeting with a client. I get that, though. I still but, get it. But it's like, we work best. Like, just, I'll call you. We're going to film here. Give us the agreement. We're going to pay you. And then we'll, we're going to figure out the logistics. See this guy? He stopped right here. I know. But he's three car lengths behind another car. I know. Like, and then now he's slowly moving up. Thank God. We should go to Raises. What's Raises? It's like a I, beer This hall. place right here? Yeah. I was actually talking about you, that we, the other let's, day. let's go. Get a beer. Get some food. What's the deal with this place? It's a nice fucking beer hall. It's a beer hall. Well, it's not like a German beer hall. I think it's more like a barbecue beer hall. Oh, I can't drink. I'm driving. <laughs> That's a good one. What? <laughs> Jeez. Um, you know, I, I really, <clears throat> I really got to... Um, I really stopped that. I'll have one or two, but you yeah. know, I just need to stop the just drink, don't care, and then hop in a car. We were pretty bad a few springs ago. Saturday, Saturday went to uh, went to break. Uh, went oh to yeah, Twisted Smash. Yeah. Mark's horrible. Yeah. Twisted Smash is bad. going downhill. Going downhill. Um, so went there really bad. Then we went to this other place called the Rabbit Hole. It was all right. And then we went to um, break. And in break, I was like, I got to go use the restroom. So I went in to go use the restroom. And I'm, I went to the, 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 you know, the stall. And then taking a piss. And it's like, I hate this because the guy next to me now is like, He's like, I'm fucked up. I was like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I can give two shits about how you feel. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, I just did too much cocaine. Oh, <laughs> um, should we just park here and we go to Raisins? Sure. Raisins. Raisins. Um, seats are open. You funny if this guy stopped me from parking. I know. I hate when people are like, well, I do that too. Like, I'm taking photos and I'm like clearly in somewhere where someone wants to park. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not being that guy right now. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, but then he's like, he's going fucked up right now. And um, I'm like, that's good for you. And then he's like, I just want to go to hell. I want to die. And I'm like, I'm like, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. And then he was like, I think I might do that. I'm like, okay, cool. What is that with people telling them? Remember that guy who says he's going to kill himself? Yeah, I'm like, just... People love to tell them. Do it. Kill it. Like, just... <laughs> Like, what do you think I'm gonna do? Like, I'm not stop you. you? I don't know. I don't you. know you. <laughs> what if he's like, all right, he just pulls out a gun, blows his brains out right in the bathroom? How terrible would you feel? <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I I have to be there in the moment to really know what my <laughs> emotions would be. Um, at the show. I think we're gonna end it, but we normally end it with a quarter of the day. I don't have a quote. I I'll, I'll bring one up. No, like you want to just bring yeah, a yeah. quote off the top of your head? Yeah, yeah. One sec. Um, uh, Isn't it great when I said you want to mm-hmm. say a quote off the top of your head, and he's like, "Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, one sec. <laughs> he's still yeah. I mean, this is literally on top of my head. Um, uh, okay, all great cultures of the past perish only because the originality creative race died out from blood poisoning. Those who want to live, let them fight. And those who do not want to fight in this world of eternal struggle do not deserve to live. It's a very inspirational quote. <laughs> You're a One guess. Adolf Hitler. <laughs> really? Yeah, my comp. Oh nice. my god! <laughs> That's why you want to end it? <laughs> All right, we can end it. That's disturbing. What? <laughs> he was like, All right. <laughs>